Hey everybody, here's a super quick video to show you how to add a favicon to your site in the event that you don't yet have one. Now what's a favicon? It's just that 16 by 16 pixel icon image that shows up right here on the browser tab, or when someone bookmarks your site. Or they even show up in the search results of some engines like DuckDuckGo and Bing. And you never know with Google, but rumor has it that Google AdSense might be bringing them back into their ad formats. Why is this important? Well, that's simple because we all expect them, and something's just not right if a website is missing it. It looks unprofessional, like the website just doesn't care, which results in a downgrade of user experience. It's also another element that you can use to brand your site, and so to not bother with it is pretty silly. It'll look cheap, and it'll reduce your credibility. So okay, enough lecturing, you get the idea. You should have one, period. Now let's first look at how to create one, and some best practices. In the end, it's going to need to be a 16 by 16 pixel in ICO or icon format. While you can use any image you please, of course, it's best to have a quick think about what will work best. Obviously, when it's so small, we're not going to be able to use an image packed with much detail. That's why your logo, or perhaps the first letter of your site or brand, that's a good way to go. Or say that you have a site that hosts music streams, maybe you want to go with a music symbol. A site that sells video content, maybe a play button, you get the picture. Something that's clear and doesn't confuse the eye. And ideally, something that reinforces the concept behind your site. Sometimes less is more, and simple is the way to go. Once you've got your image ready, whether it's JPEG, PNG, or another format, there are plenty of online ICO generators you can use for free. Just Google ICO Converter, and you'll find something suitable. Upload your image, Have it converted to ICO format, and download it. Now, name that ICO image favicon.ico, and upload it into the root directory of your website. If it's not there already, add this line of code somewhere in the head section of your website's code. and point the link to your favicon. And done, you're good to go. Just keep in mind that it might take a few refreshes of your page until it propagates and shows up. Feel free to check out our other videos so you can keep fine-tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.